Hey everyone, in this video I show you how to achieve this look right here. I always start off my makeup doing my brows, and here I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. I always start off underneath my brows to try to define its natural shape, and then I use small hair-like strokes to fill in my brows. I use very minimal pressure because I don't want my brows to look too harsh or too defined. Um, I have very sparse brows, so it's a little difficult for me to achieve a more natural look unless I just don't put anything on my brows at all. I use the NYX Clear Brow Gel to set my wayward hairs in place so that they don't go anywhere for the rest of the day. I use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer to dot underneath my eyebrows and then I take a very small elf brush that I've had for a million years to carve out underneath my brows, clean it up, make them look a little more defined underneath, but I never ever ever do this on top of my brow to again avoid having such harsh and defined brows. I want it to look a little bit more natural. And I take that same concealer and I put that on my eyelids and I blend it out with a concealer brush. And I use this as a base for my eyeshadow. I don't set it with powder because I still want that base to be a little sticky so I can have more pigment from my eyeshadows show up on my eyes. I use the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place and I take this yellow shade right here. And when applying bright colors, I like to just stamp the color on first to get all the pigment that I'm looking for. And then I'll start using more back and forth brush movements to kind of blend out that shadow so I can have a nice seamless shadow blend. I don't want any harsh lines or edges. I just want this to be nice and diffused so it looks really blended. Here I take the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm palette in the shade Alert and I just take that on a flat brush and I stamp that orange shade all over the lid. You'll see in a few that I go in with a fluffier brush later. But now I just want to apply that color, get that pigment, and then I'll start blending it out. Here I didn't take any extra color on the brush. I just use whatever's left over from the previous shade to blend out that orange shade. Here I go with the yellow again, just blending and blending and blending. Here I take the shade Secret from that same Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette and I just start stamping that on my outer corner and I do this until I get the desired pigment that I want. I didn't want to go too overboard with this brown shade because I didn't want it to be a smoky eyed, I just wanted a little bit of dimension here. So I really just keep stamping, I go back and forth from that brown shade to the orange shade just to blend just until I have enough depth and pigment. So here I take a smaller brush. I'm just taking that same shade Secret. I'm kind of stamping that along my upper lash line just for a little bit more depth and dimension to the eye look. And then I'm just taking NYX Liquid Liner in black and I'm just lining my lash line. This is only really so that it blends my lashes in. And then I take the Milani Supreme Coal Liner in the shade Black is Black and I just tight line my lash line to make sure that those false lashes blend. Then I take the NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer and I just take that and I apply it all over my face you can use a brush, but I like to use my fingers just to make sure the base is nice and blended in, nice and tacky, so that I'm ready for foundation. Here I take the Fenty Beauty Foundation, and I'm in the shade 310, and I just dot that all over my face, 
You can either use a damp sponge or a brush. I like to jump back and forth. It doesn't really matter to me which tool I'm using. Sometimes it just depends on how lazy I am and how I don't want to get up to wet my sponge. So here I'm just blending in that foundation. I keep looking back because my cat was back there. And I just like to blend that in. And here I take that Fenty concealer in the shade 310 and I am just dotting that over the places that I want highlighted on my face which is normally just my chin, my cupid's bow, my nose, the center of my forehead, and my under eyes. And then I take the RCMA No Color Powder, and I just take that on a small brush, and I pat that underneath my eyes. I don't like to bake because are very dry and baking will bring out a lot of that texture so I just set them with a little bit of powder just to make sure that concealer doesn't crease or go anywhere while still not drying out my under eyes and then I just take whatever's left over and I just lightly set those other places that I added concealer and here I take the Anastasia bronzer in the shade saddle and I don't really swipe my brush I just kind of pat the color into my skin because I don't want to disrupt any of the foundation underneath since I didn't set it with other powders and this will give a more natural look as well instead of looking too powdery So here I just bronze underneath my cheekbones, on my forehead, because I kind of have a big forehead. And then I just take a little bit and I go around my nose. And then I take the Anastasia Blush Trio and I take that peachy color and I just apply it a little bit to my cheeks. And then whenever I feel like I go a little too overboard, I just take that foundation brush that I originally used and I just pat that over the blush with no extra product on it just to kind of blend that in a little bit more so it doesn't look too overwhelming and I just added a little bit more bronzer because I wanted to look extra bronzy and then I take that concealer brush I used with no product on it and I just kind of swipe underneath that bronze line to kind of give it a more defined look without having to bake or actually contour and then here I am just taking those orange and brown shades that I used on my upper eyes or my lower lash line. And I'm just blowing them out a little bit. I want it to look very blended. And I bring that color down a little bit more. And then I take that smaller brush I used to stamp that brown shade on my upper lash line. And I just do the same thing on the lower lash line. And then I take that brush that I used to set my under eyes and I use that to gently pull down my eye. And here I'm using the Omrezy and Anastasia highlighter. And I just take that on a fan brush and I just apply that to the high points of my cheeks and my nose, Cupid's bow, a little bit of my forehead just to give me a nice dewy look. I take that and I put it on my inner corner and underneath my brow and here I'm taking the color pop lippy stick in the shade I like it and I'm applying that to my lips after I finished this I didn't really like the color I felt it was too orange for this look so then I take 
the color More Creamer, please, from the Desi XKD Dose of Colors collab. And I just apply that to the center of my lips because this shade is really light and I don't really like how it looks by itself. And I still didn't like how the lips look, so I took the shade Toasted Toffee from Maybelline and I lined the outer edges of my lips because this is a darker shade to kind of give it an ombre effect. And then I take the Morphe setting spray and I just douse my face in it to set everything in place. And then I take the L'Oreal Carbon Black Mascara and I apply that to my lashes. I do this after my setting spray because if I do it before, my mascara ends up all over my cheeks. And this is the finished look. Thanks for watching.